Hi there guys, Shannon Princess Wrestling here again and um, this video is just a little sort of update about the reason, recent leavings and returns with the WWE and TNA. Um, these are just ones I've heard about on uh, a few websites and um, mostly either beneaththemat.com or wrestlingreveal.com. Um, the one I've most recently heard about is um, TNA Knockout Velvet Sky has now left TNA. Um, she's officially uh, commented on Twitter saying that she has now left. She didn't re-sign with, um, with, uh, with TNA. And uh, there was also a tweet from uh, a good friend of hers, Mick Foley, who we all know, that uh, about her going to WWE. It isn't confirmed. It's just uh, rumours again, but uh, Mick says that uh, she would be a welcome addition to the Divas roster. Which, uh, I can see that happening, but WWE will make her tone down. Make her tone down because they're more of a PG show than what TNA is. She'll have to tone down, you know, the clothes and probably the makeup as well. And or definitely her ring entrance will go. That's one thing I think that they will definitely take away from her, is her ring entrance. But it's a ring entrance we all love. The beautiful people ring entrance where you know, she let the pigeons loose on the middle rope, as Taz would put it. But yeah, I think they, she'll definitely have to tone that down if she does sign with WWE. Not that she'll have to, she will have to tone it down. Because... They won't accept her in a ring that way, especially not on a PG show. Um, there's also been another announcement um, about Karma, or Awesome Kong from TNA, but Karma in WWE. Uh, apparently she's left, um, she didn't re-sign her contract, uh, I think they only gave her uh, a year's contract if I remember rightly. Uh, due to them wanting to tweak her character and she was quite stubborn on the fact that they were not getting to tweak her character at all. I mean, yes, she left to have a baby and unfortunately baby didn't survive and I know how that feels and it's not a nice feeling, I can tell you that. So the guys that are there, it's not a nice feeling and I can understand why she was out for so long. But um, apparently that's her done with WWE. Will she appear in TNA? Will she re-sign with them? I think it's a better, more lighter schedule for her. She's well known in TNA. Maybe you could see her moving back. Will they even take her back? Who knows? Uh, also, leaving TNA has been uh, Chris Sabin. One half of the Motor City Machine Guns and another favourite of mine's. Um, he's been out with injury quite a lot recently. Yeah, first he injured his, well, I'm sure it was his leg and then he injured his knee when he came back. He was only back a day, well, two weeks in a day he was back and he was injured, he injured himself again in Ultimate X match. Is it just due to injury that he's not re-signed his contract? Is he taking time out? We've had no confirmation on what's going to happen. Then again, Alex Shelley's contract is up rather shortly. Are we going to lose both the machine guns? Alex Shelley hasn't been seen on TV for a good a good sort of three four weeks now. So is he due to leave next? Where does that leave the Motor City machine guns? I can see once Chris Saban rehabs and obviously gets himself back to full peak condition and. Then Alex Shelley leaving, could they possibly go to WWE? I think they would make a welcome addition to the WWE tag team roster because they don't have a tag team roster to speak of. Their tag team champions are two guys flung together. The prime time players are two NXT rejects. The only credible, credible tag team that, well, the only two, sorry, credible tag teams that they've got at the moment is the Usos and Primo and Epico. We'll see how that goes, but um, I think they'd make a welcome addition to um, WWE. And a lot of fans that don't watch TNA will get to see the Motor City Machine Guns, two of the greatest X-Division wrestlers 
that combined in a tag team are just phenomenal. They are. They're just they're just brilliant. I love them. Also, uh, a return that we got um, this week on TNA, Chavo Guerrero Jr., little Chavito, is now a member of the TNA roster. I didn't see that coming, obviously. I heard that Dixie had uh, announced it on Twitter and stuff like that because I got it through Facebook as well. But um, is TNA right for him? I just, I don't think he's a natural fit in TNA. I mean, yes, I know his Uncle Hector is there. He's one of the Spanish announcers. Just on name value alone, Chavo has a lot just pure on name value. Because obviously the Guerrero family... From his dad to his uncles to his brother, oh, his brother? No, sorry, wrong. From his, like his his dad, well, his grandfather and his uncles. Obviously, his dad was a wrestler, and his uncle Eddie, and we all know about Los Guerreros and stuff. But he is from a wrestling dynasty. He's a third generation superstar, so I can see why TNA signed him. He was used as a lackey slash jobber slash mid carder in WWE, but I don't think they used him to his full potential. The little sort of skit they had when they brought him in, obviously Chavo's there, you know, getting the love from the fans. Gunner and uh, Kid Cash come down, you know, to try and beat him down. And Hernandez came out. I can see uh, Chavo possibly taking uh, Anarchia's place in uh, Mexican America. Whether he turns heel or not, we don't know. Or is Hernandez not going to make? Is he going to turn Hernandez in that face? Wait and see. Haven't seen Sarita and Rosita for a while either, so we don't know if Mexican America even exists anymore. But it's good to see Hernandez doing something face instead of heel. Um, that's all I've got at the moment. But as I say, rumors and stuff. You know what the internet's like for wrestling rumors. But these are just the ones I've picked up on a few websites. But I've also heard, um, whether this is whispers or rumours, uh, well, whispers or truth, I don't know. But I've also heard that Kelly Kelly might not be re-signing. She might be taking time out to do whatever Kelly Kelly's going to do. I would imagine it would be modelling or something like that. But here she hasn't re-signed. Or she hasn't presently re-signed with uh, WWE, so she might be taking some time out. So that might give Velvet Sky the end that she needs, unless they bring up some more people from like FCW or whatever their um, training facility is. Yes, FCW. But um, whether they bring somebody else up or so, like bring up some of the divas that they've actually got, we never know. You won't, you won't know. But um, I really do hope she doesn't take time out. I mean, yeah, Kelly Kelly's not the greatest wrestler, and we all know this. She's there for tits and ass, and we understand this. Most of you guys that are watching this will probably drool over Kelly Kelly, and that's perfectly fine. That, that is what it is. But um, I wouldn't like to see her go. I think she's got plenty left in her to wrestle, and we'll wait and see how that goes. Um... If you guys want to leave any any of your thoughts, leave them down below. Um, also, if you've heard of anybody else that's maybe leaving or contracts or people that you maybe think are returning, I would love to hear about. So just leave that in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe up above and like this video. And uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, hopefully I'll get back to you guys soon. Bye.